Welcome back to the second of perhaps a series I will be doing based on one of my websites, encouragingbiblequotes.com. This is Catherine, and I welcome you in. And today we're going to talk about courage. And I'm going to be reading some Bible verses, but I wanted to remind you at the very beginning, this word from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. This is a good reminder to know who we are battling against and who is our real enemy and who isn't. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities in the unseen world. And most of the battles that we face are taking place in our own minds and in our own hearts and in the way that we perceive the world. So that being said, let's go on. God commands us to be courageous. God would never command us to do anything that we were not able to do with his help. So remember, he commands us to be courageous. Deuteronomy 20 verse 1 to 4. When you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, do not be afraid of them because the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt will be with you. Hear, O Israel, today you are going into battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not be terrified or give way to panic before them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you victory. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid are terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1 verse 9. Again, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. First Chronicles 28 verse 20. Be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be men of courage. Be strong. 1 Peter 3, 14. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear. Do not be frightened. God extends an invitation for you today. Take courage. Ask for courage and then take it when he offers it to you. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 8 When Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Azariah, he took courage. He removed the detestable idols from the whole land of Judah and Benjamin. Ezra 7 verse 28. Because the hand of the Lord my God was on me, I took courage and I gathered leading men from Israel to go up with me. Ezra 10 verse 4. Rise up, this matter is in your hands, so take courage and do it. Mark 6, verse 51. 
immediately he, speaking of Jesus, spoke to them and said, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. Your courage will have a direct effect on others, and it will give you access into being able to speak into the lives of others. Acts 4 verse 13. When they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. And finally, the rewards of having courage. Hebrews 3 verse 6. But Christ is faithful as a son over God's house, and we are his house, if we hold on to courage and the hope of which we boast. Isaiah 35 verse 4. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear, your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution, he will come to save you. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And a short commentary by Catherine. Skim the headlines and dive deep into God's word, because he wants to speak to you today.